every nation and every state has its dark past. Some of it we know and some of it we don't since it has been obliterated. Nonetheless, today we have something astonishing to reveal, the disturbing black history that Florida tried to erase. During the 19th and early 20th centuries in the southern United States, a disturbing and horrifying practice emerged, one that is a dark stain on the nation's history. The use of black children as bait for alligators. This shocking and grotesque practice reflects the depths of racial hatred and cruelty that permeated the era of slavery and segregation. The practice involved capturing black children, often forcibly and using them as bait to lure alligators out of their swamps for the purpose of hunting these apex predators. While some might argue that the accounts of this practice are exaggerated or anecdotal, there is historical evidence including news articles and postcards that provides chilling glimpses into this gruesome chapter of American history. Alligator hunting was a profitable industry during this period as the demand for alligator skin for various products such as belts, bags, and shoes was high. The hunters faced with the danger of encountering these formidable reptiles resorted to using helpless black children as bait to ensure their success. This practice is a stark reminder of the dehumanization and violence inflicted upon black individuals during an era marked by systemic racism and brutality. It underscores the urgent need to acknowledge and confront the deep-seated racism that permeated American society and to ensure that such horrors are never forgotten or repeated in the future. In 2020, the University of Florida made a powerful decision regarding its past. But what dark history was tied to the Agitor bot? It's sheer that led to this action. How did alligator hunting become a lucrative yet perilous trade in the late 1800s? And why did hunters resort to using black children as bait? Discover the hidden layers of America's troubling past and the steps taken to confront it. In 2020, the University of Florida took a significant step towards addressing its racist history by banning the infamous gator bait cheer. This decision was a response to growing awareness and acknowledgement of the deeply troubling origins of the chant, which had been in use for decades in the university's sports culture. The gator bait chant itself may not have been explicitly racist, but its connection to a dark and disturbing chapter in American history couldn't be ignored. The phrase gator bait is tied to historical accounts of black children being used as bait for alligators, a heinous practice that took place in the South during the 19th and early 20th centuries. The ban was part of a broader initiative to remove symbols and associations with the university's racist past. It signaled a commitment to fostering a more inclusive and respectful environment on campus and in the broader community. By disassociating itself from this offensive chant, the University of Florida acknowledged the importance of confronting its past and working towards a more equitable future. This decision also served as a reminder of the ongoing efforts needed to address racism and promote diversity and inclusion in educational institutions and society at large. It was a step towards breaking ties with a painful history and creating a campus culture that fosters respect, unity, and equality for all. In the late 1800s, alligator hunting became a highly lucrative trade in the southern United States, particularly in regions like Florida and Louisiana. The primary motivation behind this industry was the immense demand for alligator skin, which was prized for its quality and texture, making it a sought-after material for various high-end products. The hides of these reptiles were used to craft luxury items such as belts, bags, shoes, and other fashion accessories. As the demand for these products grew, so did the incentive to hunt alligators on a large scale. However, alligator hunting was an extremely dangerous and challenging endeavor. During that era, the hunters faced formidable reptiles armed only with rudimentary weapons, such as muskets and shotguns. The process was slow and hunters often risked life and limb in pursuit of these apex predators. In this context, the gruesome practice of using bait, particularly small black children, emerged as a dark and disturbing solution. The hunters believed that luring alligators with human bait would make the hunt more efficient and reduce the risks they faced. But were these accounts mere anecdotes, or does the disturbing body of evidence reveal a darker truth? Newspapers from the era bear witness to this macabre practice, detailing the capture of black children and their placement near alligator-infested swamps. What drove this calculated cruelty? The pursuit of alligator hides for luxury goods, as black lives were dehumanized and considered expendable commodities. Let's explore the haunting artifacts and racist content that perpetuated this horror. Historical accounts and evidence point to the grim reality that black children were indeed used as bait in some regions, with the American South being a focal point for this horrifying practice during the 19th and early 20th centuries. While some might argue that these accounts are anecdotal or exaggerated, they are supported by a disturbing body of evidence. 
Newspapers from the time contained chilling reports of this practice, describing the capture of black children and their placement near alligator-infested swamps to lure the apex predators. This was done in a calculated effort to make alligator hunting more efficient and less dangerous for white hunters. These children, often subjected to abduction and violence, became victims of a deeply entrenched racism that saw them as expendable commodities in the pursuit of economic gain. The dehumanization of black individuals reached such depths that their lives were considered less valuable than the pursuit of alligator hides, which were highly sought after for luxury goods. While it is challenging to determine the exact frequency of this practice, the available historical evidence and accounts paint a chilling picture of a time when systemic racism and disregard for human life allowed such horrors to occur. It serves as a stark reminder of the atrocities that occurred during that period and the urgent need to acknowledge, confront, and learn from this painful chapter in American history. Postcards and memorabilia from the era provide visual evidence of the disturbing practice of using black children as alligator bait. These artifacts, often featuring illustrations or photographs, shockingly depicted scenes of children placed near alligator-infested waters. These items were not only meant to perpetuate racial stereotypes, but also to appeal to a racist audience that found amusement in such horrifying imagery. These postcards and memorabilia serve as haunting reminders of the depths of racial hatred and dehumanization that existed in the past, illustrating the urgent need to confront and remember this dark aspect of history to ensure it is never repeated. Racist content in the form of songs, poems, and product packaging played a significant role in perpetuating harmful stereotypes during the 19th and early 20th centuries. These forms of media were instrumental in normalizing and reinforcing deeply ingrained racial prejudices in American society. Songs and poems often contained offensive lyrics and verses that depicted black individuals in derogatory and dehumanizing ways. These compositions were not only shared but also taught to children, thereby instilling racist beliefs from a young age. Examples like Mommy's Little Alligator Bait and poems glorifying the use of black children as bait for alligators were particularly disturbing as they portrayed these heinous acts as acceptable and even amusing. Product packaging also played a role in perpetuating these harmful stereotypes. Images and illustrations on items such as soap, candy, and household ornaments frequently portrayed black individuals in caricatured and demeaning ways. These depictions reinforced the notion that black people were inferior and deserving of mistreatment. Collectively, these forms of racist content reinforced a culture of discrimination and dehumanization that existed during the Jim Crow era. They contributed to the normalization of racism and the marginalization of black communities, perpetuating stereotypes that had devastating consequences for generations. Recognizing and confronting this dark aspect of history is essential to fostering a more inclusive and equitable society today. And that's all for this video. Subscribe if you want to watch more.